Hey, it's me, your girl Tita, here with another weekly skin tip. So today we're going to be discussing boils, okay? Um, I hate them. I suffered from them for years. So boils are a painful bump under the skin due to an infection in the hair follicle. I didn't know what, where they came from. I didn't understand why I kept getting them. But now I understand they're an infection in the hair follicle. Didn't know that. Um, or in the oil glands. It starts off as a small um, little bump and it turns into a big painful lump um, and it's full, filled with pus. Um, it could last for several days and mine seem to. <laughs> if the boil is really large, you may need to go to the doctor to have it drained and packed. Um, you can also use, if it's smaller, it's a small, if it's a small boil, you can use um, a, a warm compress. So you'll get a face towel or something and get the water as hot as you can. I would like usually get, put hot water on it and then put it in the microwave and make it even hotter. And then gently put it on the boil. And what'll happen is if the boil is mature, it will, um, the head will come off and the pus will come out, okay? If it's not, it'll hopefully just kind of reduce some of the swelling and ease a little bit of the pain. And you will continue to do this until the, the boil erupts. Once it does erupt, you want to keep it clean and covered so that no more infection can get in. Because when I had a boil, um, it was on my inner thigh. And when it buzzed um, and all the infection came out, it was a little teeny tiny hole okay so you want to keep it covered so that nothing else gets in there and you want to make sure that when the uh, boil does erupt and the infection is coming out clean it because you don't want it to spread and get into another hair follicle and cause a boil somewhere else clean it immediately clean it well and dry it and like I said, if it is a big boil, go to the doctor because once they drain the infection out, they're gonna need to pack it. If there's, a, like I said, mine had a small little hole because it was a small um, boil, but I have known people to have larger boils where they needed to go to the doctor. The doctor will then drain the infection out and pack it so that it can heal. But definitely, want to keep it clean if it um, the infection comes out so boils are caused by germs a staphylococcal bacteria that enters the body through a small cut or a nick and it gets down into the hair follicle okay so you can prevent getting boils by making sure you know your hygiene is where it's supposed to be uh, your health is where it's supposed to be. If you have health issues, you're more susceptible to getting boils. So if you have health issues like diabetes or an immune system issue, bad nutrition, like I said, bad hygiene, um, you'll be more susceptible to boils. So make sure that your health is up to par if you have any of those situations where you have an immune system issue or a um you're diabetic um make sure you're on top of that so that you don't have the issue with the boil because if you already have um an other disease as far as, as something like diabetes or an autoimmune deficiency or an immune issue you don't want to compound it with a boil you know it's just an unnecessary um pain that you don't need to go through if you're already going through health issues so make sure you try to rectify that um go see a doctor like i said if the boil is big and persists go see a physician do not do not do not pop the boil it's not a pimple you shouldn't even be popping pimples but you definitely do not go and bust a a, a, a boil you bust the boil before it's ready, you run the risk of running, more, getting more infection, more boils in different areas, okay? Do not bust it, please. 
just go see a physician. If it's a small boil, use the warm compress that I talked about and uh, keep it clean, keep it covered once the infection comes out, okay? Now, for all of your skincare needs, go to my website, queentuckcosmetics.com and check out what I got. <clears throat> Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please share it and like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, okay? This has been another weekly skin tip with your girl, T-Tech. Thank you and have an amazing day.